This room with the marking letter F is the coffin room. What you have is an elevated platform up here and then there's three levers right here. This is up above and the coffins are down below. So keep in mind that when you're up here with the levers you'll pull them and then you'll jump down to collect the items from the coffins. Once you jump down to collect the items you cannot reach these levers again. So if you enter from the bottom area you can't go and pull the levers. The only way to reach these levers to do this activity is to enter through this direction where the alligator pit is. So you'll either have to fight the number seven guard to get in this room or you'll need to sacrifice two armor to get past the alligators to get this room to pull the levers. If you come in from below you will not be allowed to do this activity because you can't reach the levers. Now each of these coffins has a number and it also has items on the coffin as to what's in them. It may be difficult to see on the video but there's a black number one, a black two, a black three, a black four, five, six, seven, all the way to twelve. On the coffin itself is a picture of the item that you will receive if you happen to choose that particular coffin. Here we've got a torch and two gold, here we've got a token and three gold, and the higher the number goes up, the more valuable the items become. So here's how this activity works. Once a person comes into the room, he either successfully pushes past the guard, or he sacrifices two armor to get past the alligators. Once you're in the room, you move up to the levers, and you're going to place one action chip to pull the levers. One action chip is all that's needed to pull the levers, jump down, and collect the items out of here. What you're going to do is roll three dice, and that will determine which coffins you can open below. So let's see what happens here. Let's say he used an action chip to enter the room, he'll move up to the levers, and he'll use one action chip to pull the lever and roll three dice. He rolls a five, a five, and a six. Now, you're not allowed to open the same coffin twice. In other words, he can't collect the items, which is a torch and two gold, and collect another torch and two gold because he has two fives. But you are allowed to add the dice up to get a higher level. So what he could do, he could use these two fives and open the number 10 coffin. Number 10 coffin has a torch and five gold. The number six, he could put for number six, and he'd get a token and three gold. So with this die roll, he's got a token and three gold, and he also has the torch and five gold. So he opened a number ten, and he opened a number six. But you can rearrange these however you want. He could choose to put the six and the five together to open the number eleven tomb, and use number five over here. So he could get a torch and two gold, or he could get the re-roll and seven gold, which almost sounds like a little bit better deal. I don't know, I think the gold works out about the same. If he had rolled three different numbers, let's say he rolled a four, five, and a six, he could open coffin number four, coffin number five, coffin number six. Or he could put the six and four to open coffin number ten with a number five. Or he could use the five and four to open coffin nine and coffin ten. It's up to you whatever choice you want to do for that. After this player rolls the dice, he will jump down, collect his items, and then he can use an action chip to go ahead and exit the room. Now during the game you are allowed to use an action to move into the room, but there's nothing you can do if you approach this direction. The only reason a person would probably enter this room is to get out of somebody's way. Maybe it's his last action. If he moves out of the way, the other player coming through the hall might avoid him and he won't have to duel him. If there happens to be another player in the room up above, duel this player first, then move up and perform your action of looking at the coffins. If there happens to be another player below, go ahead and use your action, jump down, collect your items, then duel the player.